Um, so there are two different kinds of lithium chemistries that you'll see in, in, in this kind of an application. Um, uh, lithium cobalt and lithium iron phosphate. The, uh, uh, there's a few differences in, in them that make the lithium iron phosphate uh, a better choice for uh, RV and marine and, and that kind of market. Um, cobalts are smaller and lighter weight. Uh, and that's their benefit. The downside of the cobalt is they're they're more volatile than the iron phosphates, uh, and you can't leave them at their full state of charge for a long period of time. You can't store them at 100% state of charge. If you look at uh, the instructions for most of your small lithium ion, uh, ion battery packs um, uh, and even Tesla batteries, the, the instructions will say if you're storing it for a long period of time, uh, discharge it to 50 to 80 percent state of charge uh, before you store it uh, because th they're, they're very sensitive to that higher voltage that, that they, they have when they're fully charged. The iron phosphates, you can uh, store them at, at, at full. And so when you think about an RV and how an RV is used or how an RV is stored, typically they're stored either plugged into shore power or with their solar panels uh, in the sun. And so that battery will really be sitting at its uh, full state of charge. So lithium iron phosphate uh, is a better uh, solution for, for the RV market.